Uh, Oregon's vaping industry says it's under attack and wants to defend itself. So businesses say that there is a big difference between those in the e-cigarette business and those in the marijuana vaping business. This, as several hundred people all across the country have been sickened with a severe lung disease. In fact, six people, including one in Oregon, have died and that is linked to vaping. Our Lisa Balick has talked with some business owners in the Oregon e-cigarette industry for their perspective. Yeah, I went down to Lebanon, Oregon today to talk to a couple people involved in this business. They are very worried about what will happen to their businesses and they want people to know that there are two different types of vaping. Theirs is nicotine, the other is THC, and the Oregon death is linked to a purchase at a legal cannabis retailer. Now, the Oregon Vapor Trade Association says there are at least 200 vaping stores in Oregon selling e-cigarette products with water-soluble ingredients, unlike the oil that's used in the marijuana vaping products. Now, they believe the problem is coming from THC products. In many of the cases of these illnesses, patients have said they vaped using a THC oil, but so far no specific product has been linked yet to all the illnesses and deaths. Meanwhile, the e-cigarette retailers, who in some cases manufacture their own flavorings, they also fear their businesses will go under if a federal ban against most flavorings goes into effect. Children have no business having vapor products in their, in their possession whatsoever. Um, but taking away flavorings from a grown adult um, is, is just, it's just irresponsible. Um, if, if I didn't have something that didn't taste like a cigarette, I would still be smoking today. Now, they also don't want warning signs up against vaping in their stores, as suggested by the Oregon Liquor Control Commission. The CDC recommendations include a line in that sign that says adults who do not currently use tobacco products should not start using e-cigarette products of any kind. Now, those in the e-cigarette business say they are federally regulated, and if flavorings are banned, there'll be a large black market they think will pop up, and they fear that could be even more harmful. I'll have more tonight at 5. Yep.